Right, let's get on to that water issue. As you know, in the past, Helen Dalton, she's a member of the Parliament New South Wales Shooters, Fishers and Farmers Party. She's wanted to have water rights known publicly. She wants to see companies, individuals, MPs, foreign players all declare their ownership. She put a bill into the Parliament. Well, the bill's not been progressed. She'll tell us why in just a moment. But now the Berejiklian government says it's going to bring a bill in. But its bill doesn't deal with all the other individuals, investors, foreign companies, as I said, foreign governments. It just deals only with MPs. Well, is that good enough? Helen joins me now from Sydney. OK, Hello. Helen, your bill seemed to me to be a hell of a lot more comprehensive than what the government, the Berejiklian government, is proposing now. Is this a bit of smoke and mirrors so that we don't go forward with your bill? There's just a bill in relation to MPs and not all the other water players. Um, their bill is really weak and watered down, so um, basically the government's uh, been dragged kicking and screaming to deal with this situation. My bill is certainly comprehensive, so we do take in um, foreign governments, for instance, like um, um, for foreign corporations, Sydney traders, politicians, politician spouses, all those people. So um, a Melinda Pavey's bill only focuses on politicians. She doesn't want it retrospective and she doesn't want to um, get uh, politician spouses to declare their water interests. Well, we know with a lot of country um, family trusts, uh, farming arrangements, they can mm. be in the names of one or other members of a farming family, not necessarily just the spouse. Uh, if you just concentrate on the MPs, uh, there's a hundred ways you can get around the requirements if, if you want to do that, if you're an MP who doesn't want to really disclose their interests properly, but it does nothing about revealing the interests of foreign governments or big corporates either. Is there any chance you'll be able to seek to amend their bill, and amend it and make it reflect the bill that you were going to have put through? Look, I'll, tr I'll make amendments, but I, I've also reintroduced my bill with a couple of amendments, and that's to make it retrospective and also to include the spouses. So I'm still pushing for my, for my uh, water bill. Uh, my colleague, Mark Benaziak, has um, brought the bill in through the upper house and mm -hmm. I will um, push it through uh, the lower house, well, as best I can. But I was blocked on Tuesday again where they used COVID-19 restrictions and told me that I, I couldn't um, present the bill. But when I spoke to the, the clerk of the parliament, he said, of course you can. So I did that yesterday. Um, I was due to do the second reading today, but um, I was bumped off by somebody else. But next time parliament uh, is, in, um, is sitting, I shall be doing my second reading. So I'm going to push forward um, because this is just so important for the nation. Uh, that we understand what's happening with our water. How public... Your bill was public, correct me if I'm wrong, that you could go in if it was enacted as law, obviously, uh, search the water holdings, the ownership of, of various entities. How, how public is the Berejiklian bill designed to be? And granted, yes, it just deals with MPs. Can we search it? Can we see where the water holdings are? Well, it, you will be able to. Um, in fact, uh, her bill is... Or, uh, Melinda Pavey's bill is just um, really asking people um, that have water to do to report their trades every 14 days. So it's fairly arduous. And um, whereas, you know, if you're doing a BAS or you're doing your share market or, you know, trading shares, you're only required to, to report every six months to Parliament. So she's really ramping that up. However, she's leaving major gaps with everything else. So I think she thinks that'll be the cure to all, her, all the water woes. And it won't be at all. It's just a half attempt um, to try and uh, quieten people down across mm. Australia about water ownership. And I'm, I'm just inundated with emails and calls from people all over Australia just really concerned about what's happening uh, with water. And particularly when a Chinese government can come in and buy our water and we have no way of tracing it. In fact, Mick Kelty... The other day, he's um, doing uh, an inquiry. He did an inquiry into to water. Said that, uh, as it is now, that people can can buy water um, with laundered money. So, pro, uh, proceeds from So, what from have they crime... got to hide? Because this is a this is a political tactic of of you know both sides mm. of politics. 
put a bill in, narrow the class of persons, in this case MPs, not spouses, not other people that might be in the farm, make it look like it's really tough, you're taking it from six monthly mm. disclosures to every fortnight, punters will think, okay, that that seems like a good thing, but all of these other entities, foreign governments, corporations, spouses, etc., there's a hundred ways you could drive a truck through this bill, as proposed by the government, what have they got to hide? Why would they worry if there's transparency on who owns Australia's water. Isn't that a good thing? Well, that's right. And also political donators, so or do donors to political parties. I mean, we really need to understand. But so why, why the secrecy? We're asking for transparency. In fact, it's a requirement of the Water Act that we have a searchable water register. We're only trying to do what is required of us. And we've got to put in a bill to get the New South Wales government to move on it. And All then... Right. Um, uh, Minister Pavey does a half-hearted attempt. We are going so to stay there's right a lot of work on this. To do. We're going to stay right on this, Helen Dalton. If I'm cranky about the lack of transparency of the state Labor government in Victoria over Belton Road, I'm just as cranky about lack of water disclosures in New South Wales. Thank you very much for your time tonight. Thank, thank you so much.